And today I'm going to show you how a consistent use of the bioflavonoid Naringen, which is found abundantly in bitter citrus fruits like white grapefruit, protects the brain from neuroinflammation. And it's actually Naringen's active form, known as Naringenin, that is primarily responsible for this protection. But I'm still going to refer to it as Naringen because you're much more likely to find it this way as a supplement. Neuroinflammation is defined as a systemic disruption of the inflammatory response in the central nervous system. Microglial cells in the central nervous system are activated in response to the neuroinflammation, and this microglial activation and the concurrent release of inflammatory cytokines all contribute to nerve cell damage and the overall progression of neurodegenerative diseases. And Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Huntington's disease, and multiple sclerosis are all examples of neurodegenerative diseases. These conditions are all distinguished by nerve degeneration, a disruption in the synthesis of neurotransmitters, and the accumulation of abnormal proteins and other metabolic waste. And while Naringen is supportive against all of these conditions, I'm going to focus today on Naringen's effect against Alzheimer's. Microglial cells are immune cells that are thought of as a major protector of the nervous system. There are two types of microglial cells. We can call them M1 and M2. And while M1 microglial cells express pro-inflammatory cytokines like interferon gamma, interleukin 1 beta, and tumor necrosis factor alpha, M2 microglial cells express anti-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 4, interleukin-10, interleukin-13, and transforming growth factor beta. And all of these support a host of restorative effects in the body, like neurogenesis, which is the formation of new neurons, angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels, and also remyelination, which is the formation of new myelin sheath, the insulating layer surrounding the nerves. Naringen decreases tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-1-beta while increasing interleukin-10, which is associated with the anti-inflammatory M2. Alzheimer's is the most common neurodegenerative disease, and it's characterized by an infamously gradual memory decline and cognitive deficits that eventually impair an individual's ability to complete the, even the most mundane of daily activities. A notorious component of Alzheimer's is, obviously, the accumulation of amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles but there's also a strong presence of brain-specific insulin resistance in people with Alzheimer's. And this insulin resistance in the brain is associated with the inhibition of the phosphatidyl inositol kinase pathway, which controls the function and survival of our cells. Naringen exhibits anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and neuroprotective properties. Specifically, Naringen helps to reduce both amyloid beta-driven brain cell death what we call apoptosis, while also improving insulin sensitivity in the brain. And this is primarily coming from Naringen's inhibition of caspase 3, primary metabolic enzyme involved in brain cell death. Naringen inhibits the activity of both acetylcholinesterase and butyrylcholinesterase, and both of these enzymes contribute to the breakdown of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter essential for memory and attention. And this is important because the development of Alzheimer's is dependent on the activity of these two destructive enzymes that Naringen significantly curtails. Naringen also disrupts the activity of hippocampal malondialdehyde, the highly toxic end product of lipid peroxidation, or the oxidative destruction of critical fatty acids. And Naringen does this by directly inhibiting lipid peroxidation. And in the brain, this means Naringen exhibits a neuroprotective effect, which definitely improves memory function over time. As a supplement, you'll likely find Naringen in doses of around 500 milligrams per serving. As I said before, it's most abundantly found in bitter citrus fruits, the most prevalent being white grapefruit, which unfortunately is far more difficult to find than the sickeningly sweet ruby red grapefruit. You can also find Naringen as one component in grapefruit seed extract, which is exceptional for eradicating parasites, fungus, and viruses. But for long-term use, you may want to seek out an isolated Naringen supplement, as using grapefruit seed extract every day can have an antibiotic-like effect on your gut bacteria.
Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.